Welcome back. Well, right now, the University of Notre Dame is making some changes to campus with the goal of adding two new residence halls right off of the Holy Cross Drive. And as this clip in the WNU vault shows us, of course, this isn't the first time Notre Dame has put plans together to make changes on campus. Joan Kroc has confidence in this university. Mrs. Kroc has long been active in social and community affairs, and now she has confidence that Notre Dame can build the kind of institute she believes is necessary. She told me she believes in people and institutions, and she believes that what she wants to do coincides with what we want to do and have been doing in a much smaller way. We will now be able to do it in a much larger way, of course, and we have some interesting ideas for creative approaches to peace. An institute like this is new. The idea is not. We have had uh, a galaxy of courses in uh, virtually all of the five colleges of the university uh, stretching back for t over 20 years. What this uh, very generous gift of Mrs. Kroc will now enable us to do is to pull these courses together and to initiate some new courses and some new research programs in a much more systematic and uh, organized way than we've been able to do it up to now. Gilligan will head the Institute. As former governor of Ohio and member of the Carter administration, he boasts an impressive list of credentials. He predicts the Institute will open next fall in this renovated law school building. Hesburg and Gilligan say they want this Institute to do things that aren't being done and that should be done. I would like to bring together on this campus some of the brightest, youngest, uh, most creative and imaginative <clears throat> scholars, college stu students, if you will, from China, from Russia, from Europe, and from America, and to put them in a room for a year with some people like Governor Gilligan and let them talk about what kind of a world they want. Father Hesburgh says there's enormous interest for peace in the world, but a lot of confusion. Now, with the help of a generous gift, he said he hopes the Institute for Peace will put a light in the darkness. Reporting from the Notre Dame campus, Janine Geisdecki, New Center 16. I love wow. her stories. I love her yeah. stories. Of course, it's been almost 40 years ago now, and, and, uh, and the Peace Institute has evolved. It is now named for the late father of Theodore Hesburgh, Hesburgh Peace Institute, but the Kroc Institute is a portion of it. It's still there, and of course, buildings have blossomed on this campus like mushrooms, right? They're everywhere now. It's just the campus is completely different, but the, the Peace Institute is so important for what was going on then and what was going on now. I mean, they're doing important work there. Think back to that time. You had the Troubles over in Ireland, uh, and there were people at the Peace Institute who helped mediate that. Uh, the Balkans, the former Yugoslavia. There were people from the Hesburgh Peace Institute who were involved in, in helping to get that settled. And of course, today, of course, the Middle East continues to be a big problem. Uh, but Ukraine, uh, so the former, you know, I mean, Russia yeah. uh, is involved. So I mean, there are, there are many places in the world where where the people who have gone and studied at the Peace Institute can help what's going on in the world. What foresight to say, okay, let's have this thing here because we can address this issue not only on our campus but. In, right. our, in our society. It's just that their work is always so much behind the scenes. You don't hear about these people, but they truly are heroes that go out there and, and actually have tried to study what is it? How do, we, how do we create peace in the world instead of creating war? So it's been a very effective uh, center for all these years, 40 years now. That amazing. is amazing. Yeah.